Greetings to all of my beautiful Pisces. Hi Pisces, hi Cross Watchers. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for hitting that like, share, and subscribe button. Thank you for hanging out with me. Welcome back. All of my returning subscribers, all of my, my members, my returning viewers, welcome back. Thank you so much for choosing my channel to view and to hang out with me. You're, real, you're appreciated. All of my new subscribers, all of my new viewers, Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart for stopping by. So uh, for those who have become familiar with this, like this is our nightly reading where we're, I just turn the camera towards the sky. Um, it is, <laughs> it's pretty clear out here. Like I can see a lot of the stars. Unfortunately, you all probably can't see it because it always just looks so dark. Okay. Um, so Pisces, with the reading that I did off camera, um, I'm not sure what <laughs> what the heck is going on in your life. I do a lot of the readings off cameras just to see, you know, so I'm not picking on, picking up on one particular person who may be viewing my channel, things like that, um, or, you know, just a few energies, but I noticed some, something about the law is involved in something that's happened in your life. I'm not sure how the law is involved. I'm not sure whether what side of the law you are on. But it, what I saw was it looked like it looked as if um, something has something has happened. And I don't know whether you're in law enforcement or whether the law is contacting you about something that has happened in your life. But that's the energy that I got from um, from your cards. And some of you all, this could be, and now when I say the law, it could have something to do with a lawyer. Um, it had something to do with money. So I'm not sure whether someone is like a lawyer is contacting you in reference to some money or an inheritance or whether this has because it also has something to do with your family okay and I'm praying that it wasn't anything like negative where you know um like the law had to call you for your family or something like that but it was something that had to do with your family and it also had to do with something that had to do with money. So I'm not sure whether this is like the police or whether this is just a lawyer, okay? Um, but there was some sort of big entity that did wanna reach out to you um, about something, okay? So you may be hearing that either within like the next few days or the next few weeks or something like that going into July. Now I did see you structuring something in your life I'm not sure what this is maybe you are some of you all may be writing a book because I saw a lot of pages um, you may be structuring something different in your life maybe you're writing something down around this time this could just be a journal that you're starting I feel like some of you all need to start a dream journal I said it last year in a reading and I said it the year before so I'm not sure if you all are like taking heed to what I'm saying because something about your dreams is very telling something about what you see in your dreams or what you something that's being revealed to you in your dreams is it's very meaningful it's um it's meant for you to see something. Some of you all may be having premonitions in your dreams um, or something like that. So I kind of feel like this is a time when you should pay attention to certain things. And it, it could be something small. It could be something big, you know, but it, it just I feel like some of this is going to be symbolic. So this is important for you to see. Who is showing up in your dreams, how you feel when they show up, what you all are discussing. Um, I feel like it's something like that that's very important. I also, there was something about a, a minute man, something about a minute man. Now, the minute man, it's something could be happening very quickly within a minute, like 60 seconds, or this could, <laughs> this could also just be symbolic of someone who's very quick in the bed, you know what I mean? But something about a minute man. Um, 
And so I kind of feel like this is, is something that may take a minute. It may be something that, you know, maybe somebody's asking you for a minute of your time. Um, because, but I feel like it was masculine energy. This has something to do with a male figure. Somebody may be asking you for a minute of your time to discuss something. I also saw Pisces, there are energies that you need to be very clear. And this keep coming up in your reading. So it's not going to come up if it's not something. I, it came up on camera when I did other readings with that seven of swords. It came up with the five of wands. It came, five of wands could be inner conflict as well, though. It's not always external. But the seven of swords can represent two different things. It could represent needing to strategize it's a card of strategy you know thinking your way through a situation like um even when you are in like you could feel like you are there's no other option and you got to kind of think your way through something you got to kind of strategize um hurry up and, and get something done so something could be um it could be a time limit that you need to put on is some sort of time that needs something needs to be done now I also feel like there is a energy Pisces now I kept saying pages come out in your reading too so I feel like this could be something to do with your children or something to do with a younger figure in your life but I saw a lot of like um disagreements or something like that so I'm not and this also could have something to do with you so I kind of got that black sheep type energy so if you are the black sheep in your family listen to me closely because take what applies to you and leave the rest some of you all are not the black sheep you have an amazing relationship with your family okay so that's why I always say these are general don't take what applies to you and force it into your life and it don't you know um something that don't apply to you you just kind of like oh that's that's my story um but there's something about the black sheep i kind of feel like there was a situation that if this is your child or this is you this was you when you were a child or something there's something about how the black sheep is being discussed a lot right now now is that person being called the black sheep i don't feel like it i feel like if they are being labeled the black sheep it's somebody's trying to justify why they are that way why the, how they became that person now listen to what i'm about to tell you this could be somebody who so i'll just say if this was your mom or your dad or something like that because i got maternal and uh paternal energy with this masculine and feminine energy if this is your mom or your dad discussing why you are the black sheep, the weird thing that came up with this was, I see them as being the black sheep in their own family. So it's almost as if they're trying to justify something that they didn't even think that was fair to them. So you could have taken on a generational curse in some way. Um from someone who knew it was something happened to them that was wrong and they just like did it to their child or something they knew it was horrible when it was happening to them they felt excluded they felt alone they felt afraid they felt you know um whatever you know uh, whatever whatever that that emptiness with becoming the black sheep feel when you don't understand what it is what is um, always feeling like you're wrong in the situation, always feeling like the outcast, never quite fitting in with the cousins, never quite fitting in with the siblings, never quite fitting in at a very young age. So you know it's not the child, you know it's really the adult who are setting the stage. Maybe this is, the, maybe you were the child who spoke up, you spoke the truth, you were not willing to lie, you said when things didn't make you feel good, you said when you weren't happy. So, you know. That could have been the way, the reason why you were chosen to be the black sheep or something. But there is an energy. I don't know whether this is your father. I don't know whether it was your mom. But one of them, the energy that I got from your reading was one of them was a black sheep. So they knew exactly how it felt. And it's almost as if, okay, I had to go through hell. So I'm going to send you through hell. Deal with it. And I, that may sound cold hearted as shit, but that's the energy that I got from that. It's like I went through hell 
you know, toughen up. I survived it. You sur- Now you can survive it. But I feel like this person sent you through something that was a hundred times worse than what they went through. And they're trying to justify somebody. So this could be family. This could be a community or something trying to go to them like, oh, well, why? How did things get to this point? And I feel like if they tell the truth, they're going to be seen as a monster. So they could be like projecting, saying that you did something or that you said something that made things that way. But I feel like if this, if you were the black sheep, you were the black sheep from as far back as you could remember, two years old, one year old, three year old, you're like, what the hell could I have done that was so bad that was when I was that young to make me the black sheep? So something is not justified. Now, the dark side of this is we do have the dark Pisces, you know, that energy. Some of you all made horrible mistakes when your children were little, uh, and it could have been due to how you were raised, okay? Could have been, so this could even be your your mom or your dad, uh, they were the black sheep, then you became the black sheep, and then, you know, one of your children became the black sheep. So I kind of feel like there's something that a, a Maybe you try to break this generational curse with your own children, make something stop, you know, make them always feel included. Maybe you try to do a lot of things with your children, you know, always trying to be there, always trying to just kind of like put them to the forefront, always make them feel special or important in this life and things like that. But I kind of, there's some sort of interruption there with the interruption. It, this could have had a lot to do with either um, your parents interrupting your parental journey, meaning that, okay, you're doing a, you're breaking this generational curse with our grandchildren. We need to stop that because we need this curse to continue. You're going to make us look like bad parents if you turn out to be you know, having a good reputation as a parent. So I see some of you all may be either like holding your children from your parents because you look at them as being very toxic or something like that. Or you may have regretted bringing your kids around your parents and seeing the outcome of it. Because maybe some of you all have a horrible relationship with your own children and your parents played a huge role in it or something like that. But I feel like it it's not it, it's something about a generational black sheep that is continuously going on and on and on that you are either breaking or you try to break that curse. Um I do also see something about your community. Now, this could be a community either where you work, live, or um, like your personal, like your family life or something. Something about a community, there's a lot of gossip. Um, and, And a lot of, some of this is just, it's like really rooted in lies, Pisces. So I kind of feel like at this time, instead of you focusing on what the lies are, you're focusing on what the truth is with yourself. I do see you going within. It has nothing to you. It's like you, you know how in this life, you can't stop people from starting a lie. People, someone will meet you and see you as a threat or someone will meet you and see how driven you are, see that you're trying to get to the next level. You're working, you're going to school, you're a great mom, great dad, you're doing what you have to do with your life, something like that. And maybe they have all of the the family to help them. They have a husband, they have a wife, they have a house, they have cars, they have all these things. And you could be getting it done with little to no help. And for them to see you, you know, maybe you're a single parent, maybe you're a parent um, who, you know, one parent works all the time and the other, you're a stay at home parent or something like that. But I feel like you do something in a miraculous way and you have not gotten credit for it at all. I do feel like you have, some of you all have felt like you, and this isn't you playing the victim. This is actually, what I saw in the cards was, This isn't you playing the victim. This is you really being undermined and by a group of people. I don't know whether it's your community, whether it's your family, whether it's on your job. I don't, I'm not sure what that is, where, where it is in your life, but it looks like you were undermined a lot, like anything. So it's the equivalent of you having a sibling 
you and your sibling kind of do the same things or you know maybe you you maybe you did some things first you got into a field first you started doing something first you kind of and it was all brushed off and it didn't really mean anything oh well yeah whatever you know this that and the other oh they they're just doing that because they want some attention you know how dare they want good attention you know they're doing their, they they think they're smart how dare they go to school how dare they accomplish something in this life right um only to have a sibling to kind of follow in your footsteps and do something similar to that and then get a lot of accolades. That's where I see like that black sheep energy or just your community never really stepping up for you, giving you that support that you lead. But I'm going to tell you what I saw, Pisces. It's so up to you at this point where I see you kind of saying, you know what? I know I will never get that support from them. I never got it. I don't expect it anymore. Um, and I got through the pain, the suffering, the cry. I've cried so many tears. I have no more tears left to cry for that about that situation. I know how these people feel about me. I know it's unjustified. I know the lies that they have said to try to justify to outsiders who don't know the truth, right? Um, so I feel like there's something in your life where you're kind of saying, and I'm not giving this any more energy, any more power. What I am going to do is look within and see what I can do to continue on this journey, on this pathway to, you know, move my life ahead. Because I do see a lot of gossip behind your back. I see a lot of finger pointing. I see I see even with some of you all, your children had to live a very hard life based on how much people dislike you. So cruel. So so this is this is weird though, because what I saw was Pisces like, like I said in the beginning, that that you know, someone could have like they could have been the black sheep. And because they were the black sheep, it's like, okay, you need to be the black sheep too. You need to deal with this. But I feel like something that they did, it was like to the 10th power. What you had to endure was 10 times worse than what they went through. And I feel like they downplayed it, maybe calling you a liar, maybe, you know, they downplayed it because it was like all the anger, all the frustration, all the neglect, all the hurt that they felt, they put it on you completely. They couldn't take it out on who they really wanted to take it out on. So they put it out, they put it on you. Now, if you turn, if you went out of your way to try to like be a good, great dad, great mom to your children, they could have even convinced your children to say they were abused or hurt or or something happened. I feel like this is somebody, if they could not win by ruining you and breaking you as your parent, they would try to use your own children to do it. So this is something that I, I noticed in some of you all's readings when I was doing them off camera and I said what the hell is that what is going on so I see some of you all the reason that you have been so distant from and like this stuff comes up in your reading where it's like oh somebody from your past comes up and you're like I'm tired of hearing about people from the past this is because they keep an eye on you because of what they've done this is what you're going to have to realize it's not that you're doing something wrong trying to go out here go to school work uh, start your own business, build yourself up, take care of your health. That is nothing wrong with any of those things, okay? Um, it's the, the reason that you have people who show up in your reading from the past is because of their own guilt, okay? It's their own guilt of what they've done that they don't want anyone to know about. And I feel like um, your kids, for those who do have children, have even been, who have even had to deal with um the some level it could have been uh okay you won't go against your mom or you won't go against your dad for us so we're going to turn you into the black sheep we're all going to group together and neglect you we're all not going to support you we're all going to you know make you feel like an outcast um basically child abuse that it's a form of child abuse is is trauma to the child and they know it but they can't hurt you anymore so it's like the trauma goes to your child and they i, I feel like pisces they're trying somebody is trying to justify this 
um, in some way. And this could be, unfortunately, it could be your own parents or it could be like your community or your job, something. If it, if this is if this is job related, you could have been on your job for a very long time. I'm talking about like 20 something years, maybe 30 something years or something like that. And there could have even been someone who came in behind you, a, a very youthful energy, somebody who came in behind you where they could have had you to train that person and then gave that person all the accolades, hey, made them your boss, made them your supervisor, turned them, you know, it's something like that. It's like someone deliberately trying to hurt you through using time, using Saturn energy like longevity or something. Um, but then saying it's your karma because you must have did this or because you did that or it's something and, and then giving someone accolades behind you in your face, you know, um, if your kid works with you, this could this could they could have even affected like your child, like if your you and your child work for the same company, they could have even affected your child's job, like holding back promotions from them, you know, trying to make turn it into a very toxic workplace environment for you and your child things like that just because they felt like oh, okay we don't like your parents so we're gonna you know push this on you too so I do feel like in some areas of your life you felt like you were in a demon's lair you felt like you were the only one that really tried to do things in a loving way or in a professional way where people you had to deal with people playing dirty all the time where maybe you had to watch your back and you know, paperwork come up missing, documents come up missing, all this kind of stuff. Um, so you made it always feel like you had to cover your, you know, your tracks and always back up things and make sure you had copies of things, things like that. You know, they could have even tried to make your child seem incompetent or something like that. I just see something flowing from you to your children or to a younger energy based off of how people feel and they're them trying to justify it um but the lies are atrocious it's like they had to fabricate some sort of lies to the 10th power to make it just a little bit believable so people will say oh my god they did that and then what and then they did that oh, oh okay now i understand why because if they tell the truth it that it's like the what is it when they say the the punishment doesn't match the crime or something like that? Um, and I feel like the crime wasn't even with you. And I'm not saying like with the Pisces who are actually doing the right thing. I'm, I feel like some some crime could have even been put on you. It could have been someone else who did something and to cover their tracks or to have a number of people to cover their tracks. They actually put it on you. And people maybe just be walking around really thinking that you did or said something or you didn't do or you didn't say something. And the person who started it was the actual person who did it. But, you know, they treat you a certain way based off of what they think they know. So um, I also saw you some of you all there's something about traveling i don't know whether you have to travel for work some of you all are traveling nurses or something that you do i don't know whether you drive a lot you have to travel a lot for your job or you're getting into a career where you'll be traveling a lot um all some of you all this you're going to go on some sort of vacation and come up with a career choice or like starting a business while you're on vacation like you may have an epiphany moment like some sort of bright idea while you're on vacation I kind of feel like something about the environment is playing a role in what you want to do or how you want to do something it's like and um it's almost like it's like um breathing life into your dreams or giving you some it's like inspiration um with the ace of wands 
So it's some sort of inspiration that I see you starting, um, but it looks like it has something to do with travel. So I don't know whether you're working and you're seeing something new and you're like, oh, okay, now I can do this. I can do that. I'm, a, I'm you know, I could put this in, in this place or I know how to do this so I can actually build upon that. So I do see you kind of working towards something. Now, what I also see is you kind of keeping this to yourself. And I do feel like the... <coughs> black sheep energy is definitely playing a role in that okay you I, f I do feel like you have to you could feel like you have to be guarded when it comes to your dreams your ambitions or your future plans due to what you have experienced either through community um uh, like uh gang stalking or gaslighting or black this in your family you know something in your family or something it could have just and when i say family it could even be in a relationship where you were married to someone who did this. It doesn't necessarily have to be your actual blood family. This could be something where you were married to someone where they kind of gaslit you and your children or kind of like singled out one of your children and kind of made them the black sheep and wanted you to go along with it. And when you didn't go along with it, they kind of like labeled you as the abusive parent or something like that. I feel like a lot of mind games were being played in some area of your life when it comes to you and your children or how things are done um, or some somebody's trying to justify something. Now, again, I do see you doing a lot of self-evaluation, a lot of work, um, trying to take care of a number of things, trying to just adjust things in your life to kind of fit where you need it to be. Um, I do feel like someone, the Pisces now, I, I uh, some stuff I don't like putting out when I do these readings. I really don't like putting out, but I see it. I really feel like some of you all need to do protection spells on your children because there are some sick individuals out here. And sometimes that can come from your own family or people in your community that hate you so much that they wish ill will on your children or they wish ill will on you or it just because your children won't turn on you or they see that that's who you love, things like that, you know? Um, you got some real sick individuals out here who they, and this could even be by somebody who's popular and very well known, you know? Um, maybe you have family that's really popular or somebody who that was in your community that's very popular, something like that. I feel like there's something going on with their own children. Maybe they be now it could when I say with their own children, if this is somebody who may not even have a close relationship with their own child, so they don't want you to have one, okay? Or they didn't have a close relationship with you, so they don't want you to have one with your own child. They don't have a close relationship with their own parent. So they don't want you you they're jealous of your child having a close relationship with you, you know? So this is why I'm saying some of you all need to, uh, like, well, I would say all of you, just say a prayer, you know, to Archangel Michael for protection over your children, to keep them safe, to keep them um, protected, their energy protected, their physical bodies protected, their mind protected, their heart protected. Um, and with Archangel uh, Raphael for healing because... I really see some low vibrational people who are just, I feel like Pisces, some of you all are doing so freaking amazing in this life right now. You have gotten through so much turmoil and taken it with stride and you just keep going. And this was, this is, this, that pisses people off. When people feel like, how dare you think highly of yourself? <laughs> how dare you think that you are a warrior, that how dare you think that you should be um, acknowledged or looked at in a positive way. They will do anything to mess up your reputation, anything to make you cry, anything that they feel like will distract you from your path. Um, and some people will go, yeah, as low as to bother your children who are minding their freaking business, innocent, innocent children, right? 
and will try to justify. They'll say anything. You know, they'll lie and say you did something to their child. You ain't seen their child, don't think about their child, ain't don't have nothing to do with their kids, you know what I mean? And they'll just lie. Um, but this is the kind of unfortunately, you know, that's the that's the dark side of some things in this life. But I will tell you I do see that's that could be where I saw the police coming in at in the beginning where I said I see the police contacting you about something um, or either the um, a lawyer or something. Hopefully it's not anything negative. Hopefully if it is, it's something that has I mean, if it's if they're contacting you, it has something to do with um, um like you know maybe an inheritance or you signing legal documents for your property or something like that you know a car or something hopefully it's something like that but there's some sort of um, legalities that i see that has something to do with your future energy um and then some of you all could just be in law enforcement yourself so that could be what i see as well but then I, um again like i said you know, there is an energy where I do see you needing to really um, focus on some really positive things in your life and stay focused because you do, it keep coming up. I see some negative energies who are just upset with how well you're doing and how weak they feel when they plan things and you keep overcoming them, okay? Um, the jealousy is is to the tenth power. What I'm seeing with some of these people that come up in your reading, and some of this, unfortunately, Pisces, this got something to do with your own family being extremely jealous of you. You know how it is when the black sheep prevail, you know, and the black sheep is doing well. You know how it is. That's when people go ballistic. It's like, oh crap, you know, and. Um, how dare you become successful when they wrote you off or didn't give you any support and they see other people speaking highly of you it's like uh oh -uh, we gotta we gotta let them know we need to tell them everything negative because we can't have them supporting the black sheep and making us look bad so uh, there's something that i'm seeing where you're gonna have to um really pay attention to how people are moving around you trust your intuition when it comes to people too you know um I read people all the time, but I just, I don't tell them what I know. I don't pick up, I don't let them know I picked up on anything, nothing. Um, I've even had people to sit right in my face and pretend like they were talking about somebody else but was talking about me <laughs> and didn't know I picked up on it. But it is what it is. Um, so yeah, so I just really feel like this is a time when you could you're going to prevail in something in a major way pisces i see this i also but i also see you needing to pay attention because this is about str being strategic you need to pay attention because it has something to do with either a generational curse that was deliberately passed on from someone to you that you was breaking and either you tried to break it and oh heck broke loose because someone needed to see you be in a place where they could try to ruin your connection with your children or ruin your children or something someone just needs you to look horrible at by any means necessary because of their reputation if they look like a bad parent they want you to look like a bad parent um, and they will do anything to make that happen. If they look like a bad supervisor, they want you to look like a bad employee or a bad, bad supervisor. If they look like a bad business owner, if somebody. this is what this is just about. If somebody needs you to look 10 times worse than them to take the attention off of themselves. But the, why, the reason why, the reasoning behind it makes no sense. It's more about them trying to, um, like uh it's like a, it's like a transference of energy or something that i saw with that reading so um this and this this may not be applied like some of the, some of these readings that i when i do them off camera i'll be like ain't nobody gonna see this ain't nobody gonna relate to this this ain't gonna be something that's 
real or you know people can say oh my gosh this is what happened some of these readings i just kind of feel like no one is going to be able to <laughs> relate to um and then some of them i'm like oh the energy is good but then other times i've been wrong with that too so it'll be interesting to see um what the comments are like or you know but yeah i do see something about you were deliberately placed in the black sheep energy by somebody who was a black sheep themselves and they did it because it's like they wanted you to suffer 10 times more than they did they couldn't take it out on who they wanted to take it out on could have been their community their parents or whatever so they found i don't know why this but this to me looks like something that happened for a very long time so maybe you if it was work related this could have been you could have been very young when you started your job like 18 or something like that Maybe you were doing internship or something, um, and it just went on for decades of you working there. And if this was not work-related, this was something that was family-related that could have even flowed over into your community. And I remember doing a reading, like, I think it was a few months ago, in reference to your family teaching your community how to treat you. But so I feel like that something is trying, someone is trying to justify something. Um, and this could be your blood relatives or this could be somebody you were married to or in some sort of very long relationship, long term relationship with who, you know, try to justify why things didn't work out between you all or why they don't have a good relationship with their own child or something that somebody could be blaming you for it, saying you're the one who turned the kid against them or they had to turn on their own kid for whatever reason or something um but this is this to me it just looks like you're really focused on self okay um you're focused on growth you're focused on enlightening yourself about what you did not do right in your life um and making making sure that you don't do that same thing with your children um or teaching them something different, like teaching them not to make the mistakes that you made, okay? So I do feel like there will be some sort of learning here, teaching moments. Um, with This could even be, if it's not your biological children, this could be like with maybe it's somebody youthful that's coming in and you're trying to teach them like, you know, don't do not do things the way I did, you know, when you, when you get with the company, make sure you can get what you need to get out of it and but don't let them use you for for 30 40 years 20 30 years and then uh have, have you to train your balls you know um there's something like that so i kind of feel like you're going to be teaching someone something that's younger than you um some very really valuable lessons about what you went through instead of instead of making them go through hell because you do have different kind of people in this world some people are like shit i i tolerated it i went through hell you you can go through hell and you're a wimp if you don't if you don't uh, uh tolerate it you know and then some people are like no i didn't deserve what i went through and i don't want to see the next person go through what i went through you know so you do you have different people out here and the way that they deal with trauma or pain and stuff like that and i feel like the way that you're doing something is in a very healthy way okay um yeah so i'm going to stop the reading here and i again i cross watches this could be relatable to you as well maybe you have Pis pisces in some significant placement within your natal chart where it's relatable to you as well you're more than welcome to because you're welcome here on this channel okay so you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section or you could be in the energy of a pisces maybe your child is a pisces your parent is a pisces or um you were in a relationship with a pisces or something like that okay um, so this could be relatable to you as well in some way, even if you're the third party kind of on, a, on a, mm, kind of on the outside looking in. Okay. All right. So that's the end of this reading. Um, again, Pisces, stay focused on your goals. I do see a lot of things um, that you've been working on coming into fruition in a good way. I just unfortunately see distractions like this could just be entities 
that see you kind of breaking these curses, these generational curses and negative spell work. And they're just, you're pissing them off, but you, you are still prevailing, okay? All right, so that's the end of your reading. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment. Thank you to everyone who has donated to this channel. Um, for those who do want to know how to donate, you can go to my uh, description box. My PayPal and Cash App information is in there, okay? All right, and I'm sending you all love and light. And I will talk with you amazing peace, peace, Pisces. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Pisces and cross watchers another time.